Hey guys, welcome to your Fitness Friday. The last two weeks we've been working on mobility, so if you've missed those videos, remember to scroll up in the news feed to find out what we did in the last two weeks for our shoulder and our hip mobility. This week I wanted to talk about stability. It's very, very different. So when we talk about mobility, stability, and flexibility, these are three factors as a trainer and a coach that I always look for and to see what your body can do. Especially as we get older, they become very, very, very important because if you don't work the joints, mobility, if you don't work your stability, balance, and if you don't work your flexibility, the length that your muscle will stretch, over time and as we get older, it's just going to get worse. You're gonna stand with your feet straight and then you're gonna lift and come up on your toes and let go and hold and lower yourself back down. Our feet straight up we're gonna let go and hold and lower yourself down. Now in order to challenge ourselves we're going to lift one foot and stand on it and then come up on our toes, toes if you're able. Okay here we go lift, lift, I'm still up on one toe, and lower. You're gonna do the other side too. Lift, lift, and lower. Now, Sometimes these things seem really, really simple, and other times when you start to practice them, you find out it can be very, very difficult in order to maintain that balance. Okay, let's look at the next thing that we want to stabilize, and that's our shoulders. Is you can lift and open and hold. Sounds really super easy, but hold it here for a minute and see what happens. So this is also a start point. If you're beyond this, then we're gonna look at something else a little bit different. So let's get set up on the mat, and I'll show you a different stabilization for the shoulders. Okay, we're gonna start with something as simple as a side plank. So literally start by just shifting the weight up and out of your shoulder. And that's it. Okay, so all the weight's still in your hip. See, this is why you need strong shoulders. Tug of war with your dog. Not my dog, babysitting. Okay, so this is where we're gonna start. Now, over the course of time, you're feeling more like stronger than what we're going to do is lift the hip. So your pivot point is the knee. Make sure that your elbow is directly below. You can place your hand here. If you need to place it on the floor, it gets a little difficult, so you really kind of need here. And then you're just going to lift. Now, what's going to happen is if you collapse the shoulder, right, but we want to protract out, and then just lift and hold. And count it out. Okay, our progression from there is literally coming up like I just did on your hand. So make sure that your fingers are properly placed and you wanna make sure when you go up that you're in a straight line and the shoulder is doing all of the work, not your wrist. You should be able to push down your fingertips, pulling your abs in, squeezing your butt, pushing down into your knee, and you're just gonna hold. So what most people do, I find, I'm not even going to do it when I'm up in that position, is they collapse in the shoulder here. You need to be able to roll that shoulder, the chest open, get the shoulder blade back where it belongs, and then stabilize your shoulder. Though that's a quick progression. It can take you anywhere from th two to three weeks to maybe six, depending on how much weight that you're lifting of your own body, how strong is your shoulder. Please be mindful of when you're doing these exercises that you're listening to your body for response before moving on to the next level. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, post in the comments below. And if you want to have a private training session for me to build you a proper personalized training program, then just send me a DM and we can set up a time for this one-on-one -on -one coaching.